why am I being denied a $60,000 personal loan? You and you know what? You said because you're black? They didn't give me an answer. But how so do you I know assume? it's because you're black? Good afternoon guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ken your host, and if it is your first time here, I invite you to like, share, and subscribe. Today, I have a video of Officer Tatum, and he is a very wonderful black man. He was part of a panel, and he was, I would say, schooling the other panelists that were with them, and we're gonna watch and hear what he was saying. But if we had the economic power that many of our counterparts enjoy in this country, um, some of the issues that we face, we wouldn't have those. Officer Tatum, you want to weigh in on this topic? Yeah, I think that a lot of our issue comes from right here in the mind. And I, I would say um, that leads from the lack of education. The reason we vote the way we do is from a lack of education. The reason that we think, and no disrespect to the young lady, that we think that somehow our issues are external is a lack of education and knowledge. I honestly believe that we are the arbiters of our success. If we have problems in the inner city communities, we have to look in the mirror first. Um, I just want to weigh in um, when Officer Tatum say it's a lack of education, the way we vote. And what I would say to back that up is the fact that from history, we see that Republicans were the ones who give the minorities um, whatever they wanted, whatever they needed. For example, give give right to vote to black people, give right uh, to vote to women and stuff like that. So we see in history, Rep Republicans were the ones taking care of the black community since, uh, since the ending of slavery. But for nowadays, People think that the Democrats are more, more friendly toward black people than, than the Republican. And to me, this is a lack of education, except if there's some historical fact that I don't really know about. But to me, it is a lack of education because normally, as a black man, I believe voting Republican would be a better choice for me since Republicans were the ones who actually gave us everything we have right now. We have to look in the mirror first. Because on this panel, I, I highly doubt that anybody on this panel is affected by systemic issues and the systematic oppression. That's none not of true. Us, I, I, I said I highly doubt that none of us are affected. I'm, I'm a you successful listen, black man. I got listen. an education. I own my own business. I employ black people on my, in my business, and, they, and I pay them very well. Why? Because they're qualified. They do what it takes. They come, they interview, and I and I give them opportunities, and that beget other opportunities. So I honestly think that the person in the mirror is the biggest, you know, problem or success factor in the black community. I agree with that a hundred percent. You can't expect to succeed if you don't do the work. It is pretty simple. If your only goal is to blame everything on racism, that's no problem. You can spend your life blaming everything on racism while the other people, the ones that know they can do something for themselves, they start doing things and you're going to end up buying from them, spending your money on the things that they own because you actually didn't decide to do nothing for yourself. For example, let's take the immigrants. I myself am an immigrant and so... When I came here, my goal was not to look for racism anywhere. My goal was to come here and to make myself become something. Okay, I'm still working on it, but I'm doing the work. And one day, maybe I will, I will reach my goal. And this is why I actually want from, from everyone, especially from the black community here, stop blaming everything on racism. Stop blaming everything on the systemic issue. Just try to do the work for yourself. I just, the other day, I was think, reflecting on my grandmother, and I was raised by my, my grandmother, my maternal grandmother. Both of my parents were incarcerated on a federal level when I was approximately five years old. And I thought about something. My grandmother told me one day, she said, do you know that you are the first generation that was born free in this country? And I said, what do you mean by that? She said, you were born in 19, late 1970s. And I said, yeah. She said, well, when I was born, I was born one generation from a descendant of a slave. When your mother was born, she was born in Jim Crow. 
And so I was the first generation that was born fully free in this country. Why am I bringing that up? I'm glad that you asked that question. The reason why I'm bringing that up is because we are not too far removed from the institutional racism as it relates to signs, as it relates to legislation, et cetera, that keeps people like you, me, like me, me like her, this. and like you, can successful I, I brother, in bondage. Can I jump in on this real quick? Brandon, before, before you do. And let me say this. You know, even though you were the first generation, look at how much you've been able to accomplish. That's right. How much barriers do you have if you've been able to accomplish so much and you're only the first generation? Well, let me tell you about my barriers. So that, as a felon, as a, as, wait, 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 as a person, wait, wait, as a person, wait, wait, wait. as a person let, let with a felony finish, conviction, let me, let, me, let me just, let me just. I, I, can t I can tell you about my barriers. There are more no. than 46,000 collateral consequences to right. one felony conviction in the United States what of America. Did, what did, what did, okay, you, do, what did you do to go to jail? I was involved in criminal enterprising. There you go. So. <laughs> Let me just say, he shut down. he shut him down really quick okay one thing guys like i always say in my video nobody will say there was not racism here nobody will say that there was no slavery here no this is not what we're saying now we are saying let's move forward okay because the slavery time has ended the systemic racism time has ended so if we keep living in the past i know we must remember the past so we don't commit the same mistakes we did but at the at the same time we also need to move forward okay and i believe this is what officer Tatum is trying to say although you are the first the first generation to be born free but yet you have accomplished so much that nobody will know that you're the first generation because you actually have really no barrier against you. you say this. The reason that I say that is because it's the same person in the mirror. The justice system, the white man, systemic racism, none of that had anything to do with the reason why you went to prison. Nah, I didn't get actually sure. prosecuted by a white man. I got prosecuted by a black prosecutor. I got prosecuted by a black, uh, I got uh, sentenced by a black judge. This wasn't about white, this wasn't about on, black. Well, this wasn't exactly, so it was about you committing a crime and you paid for it. So I don't even know why he brought that up. Hang on one racism. The system in and of itself, I'm telling you, the reason why you went there and I didn't is because the decisions that you made and I didn't make those decisions. True. Fact. And the reason and the reason why you're successful now are the positive decisions that you made learning from the experience. Those are the decisions that you're making are the arbiters of your success. It has nothing to do with these external factors. You were This is just common sense. This is just logic. And he's destroying these these guys. To get out of prison, have the experience, and now you're able to free other people. In America, you can do that. In other places, I can't, I can't attest to that. But I agree. America forced that opportunity. There's no systems that have stopped you, have it? I think that is, is, is damaging now by having diversity, inclusion, and all that stuff. What it does is it separates us. What? It really does. It separates How? us. Because you don't if, want if you people listen, to know no, about no. our culture? Let me, I, am, I, I'm a, I am an entrepreneur, I hire people for a living. I do not discriminate against individuals who come to my workforce. If I have qualified black people, I'm going to hire qualified black people. What we should be focusing on is having them qualified exactly. instead of just giving them a handout because we need to reach numbers. We, we need young Maybe back in the day, since there was that systemic racism, affirmative action was a good thing. But for nowadays, I believe affirmative action is not a good thing because we need to get people that are qualified to have whatever they are qualified for that means that means if you're going to college you need to be qualified to go to college you need to to have the the good grades that the the college required otherwise you are you are just gonna be miserable in that college because you are not qualified for it we, we, this, is, this is the problem that's happening. I'm going to shut up, I promise. The problem that's happening is that we're not focused on making sure these young people are successful yeah. coming out of school. They're prepared to go to work. They're prepared to interview. We're not prepping them there. We want to go on the back end and say, well, I have 10 white people. I need three more black people. I'm just going to hire them because we need to meet a quota. That's not... Yeah, that's a problem. The quota is the problem because that, that doesn't force the black guys to do the effort that is required.
to do it because they come, they're unprepared, and they're not going to be successful. What we need to do is help them on the back end, make sure they're successful and prepared, send them out in the workforce where they are competitive. Yep. And therefore, they can compete just like everybody else. True. I was raised by a single parent, um, and I feel that I've, you know, I'm, I'm considered one of the people that is successful when we talk about, you know, what success looks like within the black community. But even still, even being raised, you know, in a single family, being educated, um, having a successful job, a successful career, I still understand that there are systematic things in this country that are against me. And I don't care how people look Name at that. One. I look in the banking. I talked about that earlier. The ability to. No, no, for you. For you. For me. I'm, I'm, I'm saying banking. banking. Yes, specifically. So just to give you a, a real life example, in 2020, during the pandemic, I went to my bank. I have good credit. I've paid back my student loans. I, you know, don't have any outstanding debt to ratio, you know, debt to income ratio, and I could not get sixty thousand dollars. And I asked my bank, why was I denied? A person who has A1 credit, don't have any student loans. I have, you know, two or three properties. Why am I being denied a sixty thousand dollar personal loan? You and you know what? You said because you're black. They didn't give me an answer. Well, how so do you I know assume? it's because you're black? What I'm saying is, wait, wait. there is no, there are no, wait a minute, there are How no indicators. Of of your skin? <laughs> what I'm saying is, there are no indicators for why I should, why I should have been denied. That's what I'm saying. Do you know, do you know that any white people have been denied with the same qualifications? I don't, I don't know because I didn't, I didn't go out and poll white so people. There's no way. This isn't a conversation about white people. This is a so conversation about me. How did she come with that? She did. She get denied the loan because of her race, because she has no proof for that. You're There's acknowledging no way. You're a hindrance. You're, you're, you're acknowledging a hindrance to I'm your... Yes, I'm acknowledging a hindrance in what you're considering to be a successful person, doing what they're supposed to do, going out and working, having good credit, paying their bills on time, and still being denied with no reason given. As a black That's what person. I'm, as a black person. You're saying that happened to you I'm saying that you were happened black. to me. I, what I'm saying is, yes, it yes, happened. I'm saying it, it happened. Okay. And I happen to be black, yes. Alea, I want to talk about but, but, Wait a minute, I'd like Brandon to respond to that. I see you sat back, you're frustrated. Listen, listen. I'd like you to respond. I, I will, I will. Yeah. You got listen, two minutes. Uh, two minutes. All I want to say is that I can fight with you if we have evidence. If you went to the bank and you have evidence that they've been giving loans to people with equal qualification as you have, and because you being black, they were denied you, let's go to the bank and let's show up. Let's pull up. Okay. But, but, but the thing is, is that... It's not fair to make that determination without unequivocal facts because what it does is it generates this idea that it's because you're black. There may be something or that you could have changed on you when you made the application or not yep. that could have caused you to get the loan. There are some educational points there that could have been effective. But you can't just say it's your race because then you're telling the next young person and the next young black person, and before you know it, they don't even give it a try when you're saying something that's not verified. No, no, I'm not saying... I'm going to let you get your applause. <laughs> what I'm saying is the he, he same grace it. that you're asking me to give the bank and saying that maybe it, it didn't happen because I'm black, I'm asking for that same grace to say that uh, that absolutely could have been a qualifier in their decision to deny me, but they didn't give me that information. And so the same way that I'm, I'm making... A, an example that we don't know. Stop so assuming. It could have been because you're saying, you were female. You, we, it could have like, been because of anything. You don't it, it know. I that, don't know because you been, know what? They didn't give me the information. They could have been jealous of you. They see you it come in looking anything. nice. They, they, they hating on you. It could have been hating. It could have been because you're a woman. It could have been because... Like pink. You know, what I'm also just that. asking you to consider is that it also could have been my race. That's all I'm asking you to consider. I'm asking you to consider that as well. I think that that's fair to consider that and I will, but we cannot make the determination right but we'll consider it you know in this country if, if black people if we're caring about what our efforts are this is my subject illegal immigration our effectiveness in this country is if we become if we get overtaken by people who shouldn't even be in this country that didn't fight the belong in this country uh didn't die didn't shed blood wasn't in the civil war wasn't a slave in this country the law wasn't even prepared for people to come here illegally it was prepared for black people who belong here. If we get overtaken by them, then what are we gonna do? We're, we're, we're having abortions at a crazy rate, therefore we're not populating. We're at 12%, we're probably at 11% of the population. Mm -hmm. If they are 60% of the population, when we show up to vote, what kind of power you think we're gonna have? None. <laughs> and, and, and they came here, they came here illegally. 
Their ancestors were not here. They didn't go through the struggle. They didn't go through Jim Crow. You got to get in line and do it the right way. And you're not going to thwart opportunities for black people in this country. And if anybody cares about opportunities for black people, and they're saying they're, they're not afforded these opportunities, they're getting taken away from them, this is one of the points that we should all be in unison on, is saying that these illegal people who come in this country that take opportunities from Americans is wrong. Uh, just to uh, to say something about that, I myself am an immigrant, but I also understand the fact that illegal immigration is very bad for any country, not just for America. And one thing that usually my people, my Haitian people, do not consider, when I say they don't consider that because usually they are against Republicans because they want to have uh, a safe border and for everyone to come here, but legally, not illegally. Now, if I was a Haitian president, my first goal was going to be to secure my border. And the, the reason for that is because I have, we, have a frontier, we, we have a frontier with Dominican Republic, so you can cross it by feet. So my, my first goal would be to, have, to secure my border, to make sure that people do not come here in my country illegally and try to do stuff that are not so good. And I believe that should be the right thing to do. Although we Haitians, we want to come here, I understand it. But also, we should not blame the ones who want us to come here legally. Now, if someone you, you sneak in, I have nothing against you. Welcome here and make sure you become legal. But normally, normally, logically, nobody should be okay with illegal immigration because you don't know who is coming in you don't know their goal you don't know their objective you don't know their background and to me this is just common sense i would not i would never open my door for someone i don't know about if you knock at my door i will need to have an interview with you i need to know you before i can let you come into my house and the same goes for any country awesome. Well, the way that I feel about this country is we're all illegals in this country. No, we're not. We are yes, not. we are. No. First of all, I knew, I knew it would be controversial. I knew it was going to be controversial to say that. Um, I do believe that black people built this country for free. I do believe that. Yo. But I also believe that we're all on stolen land. This is not our country. It's not. And so, who, who, because who's country? Native Americans. Who? Which one? Which tribe? I don't know which the, tribe. The one, who, the one who killed them to get them to get them to kill the other ones to kill the other ones. Listen, it's anti. Listen, let me say this. Do I believe that America has an immigration problem? Absolutely. I'll be the first person to say that. I don't believe any president, Democrat, Republican, has gotten it right. I think it's. I think it's really a real challenge in this country. Do you believe that, still said, that our immigration problem is disenfranchising blacks? I don't. Okay. I don't think it is. All right. And, and to, I reject the premise that, e, quote unquote, illegal immigrants are taking jobs away from black people. I reject that premise. Okay, we're gonna go to solutions. How do we do that? Uh, stop focusing on the past, stop blaming other people, and let's come together. Let the, me finish. The past is a precursor. Let's start, let's start making sure that we hit these pillars as a community. Let's start marrying these young women and yep. staying at home and taking care of your responsibilities sure. as a man. Let's start sure. building wealth together. Instead of going and banking with Chase Bank, somebody go bank with a black bank. For all these people who Give have me the all black this bank money to together, bank with. let's let's wow how we can't come together and start pursuing black excellence. Instead of supporting illegal immigration, let's support our people right here in New York. <laughs> Instead of putting these people up in a hotel, paying for them to eat, giving them access, giving them free medical insurance, let's do that for the black people who are struggling right here in New York. All right, guys, um, this was a very interesting video from Officer Tatum, and I believe he was 100% correct in everything he was saying. And there is no better way to say what he was saying because we need ideas like this. We need people like that who are able to stand up and to say the truth without, without fear. This is the end of the video. I hope you liked it. And remember to leave a comment in the comment section below, like, and also share the page to someone else. Okay. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.